Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of The Hunt here on Borderlands Universe. Today we are on episode 2. Uh, 2? Whoa! Hello! We are on episode 13, I believe. Episode 2. What a start! I promise you guys I've literally just spawned in. Uh, in fact, I was doing a video, a top 5 video in here, uh, killing the... Uh, the dudes and uh, I logged out here at Darksiders that's what I meant to say Wow guys what a start to the episode we do not have to farm Bruce for the supernova anymore because we are full right okay well I've got to pick it up so what can we get rid of let me see if there's anything under level 70 there isn't I always contract a load of random crap um, what do I want? We can sell the wet weeks because that's what we're going after today. They were the ones that I got for a guide uh, when the wet weeks come out, so that'll help us. That can go. And that's about it for now. But there you go, guys. We have got ourselves a Super Nova. And it's actually the right one. It's the orange one, not the purple one that seems to be crap. Uh, so, yeah, that'll save us farming Bruce. So, Ding! Tick that mother off the uh, off the list. So I'm going to go open the uh, two chests at the very top of the dark side of this tower. While I do that, I will explain. Um, I've updated the list ever so slightly. Speaking of the wet weeks, um, because there was a uh, hot fix that came out last week, uh, where not only is there the new wet week sniper rifle available now, they are uh, from the uh, Jolly Swagmen, uh, so we can pick them up. That has been added to the list. In fact, I'll just go up and throw, um, throw the Borderlands, I think I've called it Borderlands Pre-Sequel 1. It's the one that shows all the uniques anyway um, on this uh, series. So I'll put that on the screen uh, at some point in the next couple of seconds, or I've probably already done it. Um, and there's also the Boomercorn, the Jacker Cannon, the Old Painful, and the Machine Sniper Rifles. There are now random drops from any loot source. So I could have killed one of them dark siders and they could have dropped it. It might be in the it's definitely in the grinder, it might be in a vending machine somewhere. So they are available to us now. So there are five new uh, Borderlands pre-sequel uniques available. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go after one of them today because um I wanna take another one off the list. So in the uh, the pre-sequel uniques do look a bit <coughs> a bit bare at the minute so next couple of episodes going to be picking one of them up per episode but uh, hey yeah starting off good starting off good we got ourselves a supernova um and we're about to go get ourselves a wet week hopefully and it shouldn't take too long because it does drop every single uh, no, not every single time but it just drop like at least every five runs at least every five runs with the uh the jolly swag man. Why did I get out of that so early? Um, and yeah, while I'm here, I think I'm going to farm uh, Rooster Booster for the Oxidizer and Disgusting Talk for the Flacker. I've just, cha I've just changed my mind at that very minute then because I thought while I'm here, I may as well do them, guys. Um, because I was going to go to Veins of Helios and do... Laszlo, uh, Claplek, and Egghood. But Laszlo drops the Freeze Easy, which is a unique. Um, so that'll be our unique for the next episode. Uh, so yeah, while we're here, we may as well do uh, do the Triton Flats. Right, can I have a... There we go. Moondowner, that's what he's called in this one. Moondowner has not dropped Sod All, though. That's fair enough. I don't really want to use the, uh, the T4SRs because they do consume a lot of flipping ammo. So yeah, technically I should be shooting every single enemy possible for the new unique drops, but I don't know if I can be bothered. I just want to, they, there'll be a surprise if they ever land. We'll be farming enough enemies lately anyway. So, uh, right, if 
We're after the oxidizer from you. That has not happened. So, let's go to Disgusting Talk. See if we can get ourselves a flacker. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be good. We've already got ourselves a legendary so far. So, uh, anything that drops now, we do want the wet week at least. But anything that drops now is a bonus. Right. Where is the Disgusting Talk? I can take all you guys down, but I do want the Disgusting Talk. And I want him to come to me here. Oh yep, yeah, the glitch is still here, we're break dancing, wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men. Right, that'll do, you can stay there. Right, oh god, all the loot's going mental, that's not good. That's not good, because I want to be able to see the flacker, please. If it does drop. Oh no, we've got some serious break dancing going on here. Stop glitching out. Look, that could be the flacker right now, and it's like, ah, uh, where are you? It'll stop soon. I don't think the flacker did drop, though. Or we'd have seen it. But, like I said, it could be breakdancing. I think it's just that one white there that's breakdancing. Right, that'll do. That'll do. Let's pick up the moonstone. No, we don't need it. <coughs> right, there you go. That's today's episode, then. We're going to be doing that. Hang on. <laughs> I've just realised my list is wrong. I was looking then and it, it says I've got Laszlo's Freeze Easy. I haven't. It says I've got the Kiss of Death off the uh, out of the uh, toy chest as well and I haven't. They're going to have to be removed as well because you can't open that toy chest now. The Moxie one in Concordia. One of them should be on the Marek's mouth, definitely. One of them should be on Meathead. For some reason, they've, uh, they've travelled up two blocks. Two lines. So it says I've got the Kiss of Death and the Freeze Easy, and I haven't. I've got the Marek's mouth and the Meat Grinder. Wow, I wonder how long that's been like that for. That's not good. Well, I can change that now. I can definitely change that now. Well, not now, now, but... Because we've got this guy to farm. Yeah, we'll just chip away at him like this. That's the wet week, isn't it? No, I thought so, it flew out. These bloody flies. Go away. Go away. I thought I saw... Oh, no, I saw blue, but it wasn't the one I wanted. Go away, talks. Do you know, I probably should do this the other way around, actually, and then I could probably go and open the... Oh, don't know, I'm not chest farming, actually. So I was going to go to the uh, the 2001 Space Odyssey Easter Egg and open that chest, but there's really no point. I might kill the ultimate badass Skag, though, because he might drop something good. I know he's not guaranteed to, but it might be worth testing to see if he'll drop a new no 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 just let's just leave that as random rooster booster nothing at all can you let me under there please thank you right big jump let's go torque farming so talk farming I always say torque there let's go talk farming come on I know you're there. Right, you can get down. Don't glitch out again, please. Nope, they're glitching out again. Come a bit closer, please. Thank you. It's just e The reason I get him to come closer is it's just a lot easier to see the loot on this flat surface here than it is to see it on there. Trouble is, all these talks mess things up. Right, we did have some glitching out weapons again, but I believe they're white. Look at that, that animation just it just stretches them. Right, doesn't look like we've got any orange. We've got some floating stuff though. Hmm, right, well we can quit out again then. Can't believe the start we had. Get that supernova straight away, that was awesome.
So what I do like about the pre-sequel, it's worth checking vending machines as often as possible. Right. Let's go. Right, this should be a wet week this time. It's got to be. <coughs> I found this guy a couple of times now. Um, to do a wet week video and he dropped it pretty pretty easily actually doesn't matter though doesn't matter if he doesn't for a while why am I going after that I need to freeze this bit arch right where's his critical point there there we go oh no he's not dropped it wow he's been a bit stingy with it it's making me wonder now was it a limited only farm but it won't it's in a hot fix it's definitely there and it wasn't a limited only thing, it said now drops from him. Hello Rooster. I like this guy. Don't take him long to go down. Moonstone cluster. And I believe a green fell out of him, that was it. I don't know where it went though, but no. I'd have seen Orange a mile away. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to be spending a couple of episodes in the pre-sequel now. We're doing really well on uh, Borderlands 1 because of the armory farming. Looking for pearls in the armory especially. Uh, you do get a lot of legendaries. Um, so we're all out on Borderlands 1 for the minute. Uh, we could probably do with a couple of uniques actually in Borderlands 1 in an episode. Uh, Borderlands 2 we seem to be doing quite well at as well. Oh, got him down quite quickly though. Everyone's going mental. All the loops going mental. I don't know why it's doing this now. I've, I've farmed this guy quite a lot before and it doesn't derp out this much normally. Look at that. It's just crazy. Let me watch. And stops. But the loop still keeps going. But this is panicking me. Because these could be. I think when you get close to them and look at them, they actually stop glitching out but still that makes my job very hard it's hard to see the orange of the flacker anyway in this white but when they've stood going blah, 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 it's gonna make it even harder right let's go in we should definitely have the wet wheat this time surely surely I wonder if I've picked the Excali Bastard up on this character as well. Because we're going to need that for uh, for an episode at some point. In fact, I'm going to go and have a look at the end of this run. If we've got the Excali Bastard. I could go open that chest up over there as well. Oh, straight in there that time. You ain't, you ain't got nothing on us, sunshine. Okay, it's scaring me that the wet week is not dropping it from this guy at the minute. Really scaring me. I've just added that to the damn list. Oh, you idiot, Messiah. I've just realised something. I've just realised why the ticks are on Laszlo's Freeze Easy and the Kiss of Death on my list. Obviously, I've added the Boomercorn and the Jacko Cannon above it. So... I've added two things to the list, which has moved the Murex mouth and the meat grinder down too. So it hasn't been like that for a while. It's literally just as I've changed the list now and forgot to move the ticks. What a noob. <coughs> ah, well, at least I worked that one out. All right, have we got anything decent from you? Son of shine? Nope, doesn't look like it. Just a load of pennies. Fine. I've got plenty of time to, uh, to pay you a few more visits. Hey, we might not even get out from you. Depends. All depends on this guy here. He was about to. I'm taking him further down this way as well. See if that stops him glitching out. Yeah, all of you come down here. Yeah, alright, mate. Jesus. Why don't you come down here instead of being a bitch and shooting from over there? It's not even the guy I want, is it? No, he's going crazy. Come down here. 
Don't go back up there. Where the hell are you going? Stop. And you, stop. Right. Oh, sorry, we're just going to kill him there. Whoa! These guys! Well, at least the talk's down. And they are all going mental still. Stop! Stop, everyone. Stop what you're doing. What is going on today? I've seen this before, but I've never seen it this many times in a row. They're all greens, aren't they? I just really want to check. It's stopped now, anyway. God, I can't wait to get this flacco and stop dealing with this crap. Right, let's go and see if... Um, let's go and open that chest up. I'm not going to do this every time. I'm literally only doing it to see if uh, we've got an Excalibur bastard to pick up as well. <coughs> At some point... Go away. I'm not even going to bother with you guys, actually. Right. Let's got it. Haha, <laughs> sucker. There we go. Let's get this open. Might be able to see the Excalibur bastard from here, actually. Oi! <laughs> We're shooting at nothing. Oh, come on. You little gear. Did I get anything in the chest? No, it's crap. <coughs> <coughs> wow. What an absolute tip. Oh, well. At least we spawned here. It's pretty damn close to where we want to be. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, we're up here. Oh, screw that. I'm not a all the way that way this time. <laughs> I'll do it in a minute. In fact, we'll, we'll get towards the end of the episode before we go and have a look at the Excalibur Bastard. I don't want to add too many things to the list, but uh, we'll get hopefully get the wet week. If we can't get the flak or the oxidizer to drop, we, uh, we'll go see. I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure that we'll have picked it up. But I have got characters out there that I don't think I've touched the Excalibur Bastard. Just for this reason where we might be doing a complete hunt episode so uh, I want to actually have it that was bad didn't get any of the slam boost let's give him a bit now though that's better more likely to cooperate and down okay that wet week should should be dropping but it's not damn you well we'll keep trying for another 10 10-15 minutes and if not then uh, well, at least we got a legendary at the start of the episode they really don't go down to anything do they unless you've got tombstone yeah screw you screw you well, let's go see my mate rooster wow he went down like a sack of shite whoa I just thought I saw a legendary colour then, I did, but it wasn't a weapon. <laughs> Let's freeze him. Grounded. Grounded. Slam on his head. He's still there. <laughs> Screw it. T4 SRs for the win. Got to check all blues from now on as well, because they could be our uniques. Right, let's go see Mr. Talk again. I said it right that time as well. Mr. Talk. Right, behave yourself this time. Come see me. Come see me. Oh, he's frozen. Right, you guys, come down here. Look, I'm going to hide. Right down here. Yes, that's right, you follow me. Take your mate's lead on this one. You all come down here. See if we can stop them glitching out. And you're just going to stay down there like an arse, aren't you? Come 
Come on. Nope, still glitching out. I did kill him in that spot though. Come on. Come down here with you. Oh no. This is so weird. Right, I'm just going to kill him. Right, you don't glitch out though, do you? It's just your mates. <laughs> what a weird ass episode. <laughs> just breakdancing talks everywhere. Ah, I want it. There we go. Well, nothing again. Such a good start has now turned into a bit of a long spell. But hey, like I said, if we can get one thing off the list per episode, then we're doing something right, and we've already got one thing off the list. And I'm glad it was the supernova as well, because as much as uh, I don't mind farming Bruce, my God, is it a long ass run. It's not a long run, but you've got to get outside the uh, Red Bellies arena. And then you've got to take out three waves of enemies before Bruce even comes out. And then you've got to kill Bruce, make sure his loot don't drop over the barrier. And it's just, it's a bit stressful. So I will welcome a vending machine farm any day. But I am going to have to check this after this episode. If it was a limited time only drop. Because I farmed this guy the other day for the video on the wet week. And, well, the first two runs, two popped out. Then on the third one was nothing. And then on the fourth one, one popped out. And on the fifth one, one popped out. So in five runs, I got four wet weeks. And uh, I did farm another Jolly Swagman or Moon Downer um, in Outlands Canyon. And he was a bit stingier. I got two in five runs, I think. But still, we've now done five or six runs and absolutely nothing. Right, let's go again then. Oh, I've got no oxygen. Soon change that. Do you know what? I'm just going to go for it this time. Let's just go for it. Kill them all. It's harder to see his loot, but we'll see it. Oh, that looked orange really did look orange for a minute then. Do you want to sod off? Right, let's just make sure we knew where the disgusting Tog died. I think it was here. But I'm not sure. See this is why I don't like doing it in this area because it's really hard to bloody see everything. In fact let's take this down as well. So that makes it harder. No, I don't think there's anything here. Hmm. Nope. Just caught something in my eye, but I can't think where it was. Nope, that's nothing there, definitely. Right. Let's go again then. Got about seven minutes left before I want to uh, end this. So uh, hopefully we can get something within this run. If not, then uh, we'll only have one to add to the list today. But it's got to be that wet week. It's got to appear. It's got to appear. Don't think so, sunshine. Oh, that stupid fly. We don't want the fly, we want the moon downer. What the hell is going on here? Right, I'm going to do one more run of rooster. And the talk. And then... I'm going to do some rapid fire farming of him. Because I'm convinced that he should drop it. I just mean no, none of this and we'll kill him, spawn out and we'll do about 5 runs of that just to see if we can get it to drop because I'm pretty sure it should be dropping by now. I'm not expecting these guys to drop anything anytime soon but a common unique should be dropping. 
Hey, that's the uh, that's the roll of the dice in games like this. Right. Come down here. Yeah, you can go there. We'll see if it pops out. Which it's not going to. See, that was easier actually. I don't mind him being there. Don't think we've got anything again. Right. I'm just going to have a quick check for the Excalibur bastard now. Just for the hell of it. Look at those climbing skills. Those climbing skills, though. Parkour Extreme. Right. No, we can't see it from here, I don't think. Strafe. Pick up some O2 here. Just a little top up. I think it's gone. I think you should be able to see it popping out of that stone by now. Yeah, you should. So we have got it on this character. But don't worry, we can get it on another character. Yeah, it's definitely not there. Right, let's see if we can get this wet week in the next four minutes. And if we can't, uh, that's where I'll probably end up going to uh, the forum. And it says, limited time only, get the wet week. It should be much quicker now if we don't have to go and farm the other two guys. There we go. I get a stupid fly out of my face. Give me your head. Where's your head? There it is. Can't escape. Still nothing. Right, let's quit out then. We'll just do this a few times. I hope it's not a limited time only thing as well, because I was quite happy that they'd finally given the moon down a, a, an actual drop. Because he was meant to drop some sort of legendary class mod, I think, it's in his uh, in the files, in the backlog, back end of the files people go into, game files and that. Um, it says that um, the moon downer or Jolly Swagman was supposed to drop legendary class mods, but they just bugged out for some reason and he never did. So it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, they, they, they should be dropping by now. Come on. It's like nine runs. Do you know what? We'll get to the 30 minute mark and I might look it up now. In fact, I'll look it up in between runs. Do a little bit every single time. Right, here we go. Ooh. Come on, then. That's better. Go down. Flies down. Hmm. No, right, let's get on the Borderlands pre sequel wet week. Oh, I've already pressed enter. Let me stick my phone down next to my mouse. Whoa, that's just turned it round. Let's see if the wiki says anything. Let's have a look then quickly. Yeah, Swagman. Yes, it's definitely been added to the pool of the Swagman. So we're just getting, we're just really unfortunate here, I think, at the minute. So what I'm going to do is one more run of him, and I might switch to the one at Outlands Canyon just to see if he gives us anything uh, decent. I think this guy's just been uh, holding out on us for some reason. He don't want us to have it. Oh, 
Is that it? That's it, baby. And I can't get to it. I cannot get to it. He knew we'd been on the wiki. Are you joking me? Is it lost? Go away! I think it's lost. I think it's literally just glitched through. It's glitched through the world, hasn't it? Oh no, it's there. Whew. Yay, there you go, guys. It didn't... It didn't want to come to us, but we finally got it. There is the wet week. It nearly got away, but it didn't. So that is another one to add to the list right now. And uh, yeah, there you go. So to finish off, let's go see if we can make this a triple drop. We'll take on Rooster Booster once more. We'll take on the talk. And if we get nothing, then that will be the end of the episode. And uh, we'll move on probably to the veins of Helios next episode. Definitely, uh, yeah, because we've got three chances there. We've got Claplek. We've got... Um, drop it. Damn it. Yeah, we've got Claplek uh, for the Eddy. We've got Blowfly from Egghood. And we've got Laszlo's Freeze Easy from Laszlo as well. So that should be a pretty good uh, chance. They're all in the same area as well. All really quick and easy to get. So, uh, yeah, that one should be a nice uh, guaranteed drop for sure. Alright, yeah, you can stay there if you want. I oh, don't mind taking you down there. That's a... F oh, I thought that was the flacker then. I just saw the same shape as a shotgun. Didn't look at colour. That's a shame. Got my hopes up for nothing. Damn you. Well, don't matter. We've got ourselves two drops today. So, guys, anyway, that is um, going to be it for today's episode. What a start to the day, though. What a start. I love it when random things like that happen. Um, also, I think when on the next episode, I'm going to start out by just going through every single vending machine uh, available. Just one run. What am I doing? One run of every vending machine um, I think I'll start doing that at the start of pre-sequel episodes. You know, a bit like uh, our cobra farming in Borderlands 2, where we'll get the drop and then whatever time we've got left, we'll, uh, we'll go farm the cobra. I think in pre-sequel episodes now, you can't get on that security camera, Messiah. Why are you even trying? Um, yeah, I think we'll end up uh, just uh, doing some vendor farming, trying to get those new uniques, because they're the best place I've found to, uh, to actually get them, is just uh, to go random vendor farming. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll end up doing that as well at the start of pre-sequel episodes. And, uh, yeah, let's go pick up this chest really quickly. And then we'll end. Two things to add to the list today. Very happy at that. So, you can't complain. We'll come back here at some point and do some more farming of the uh, Rooster Booster and the Disgusting Talk. But for now, guys, thank you for watching. That was episode 13 of The Hunt. Really hope you guys have enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one.